We have Carol Gosa and Bob Ussery of the Smithville Chicken Pie Festival. It's coming up here in October. So tell me, first off, welcome, of course, to the show. And tell me a little bit about uh, the Chicken Pie Festival we've got going on. Okay, uh, well, we get actually get started. Uh, it's October the 22nd and October the 29th. The 22nd is our uh, Miss Smithfield Blue Jean pageant that we do um, every year. Uh, it's just a fun little pageant we do. The kids wear blue jeans and white shirts. It's an all natural pageant. And then the winners ride in the parade that sort of yes. kicks off the festival the next weekend. Oh, okay. And um, then we had, we've had some really big parades lately and I hope we can get even bigger than that. Um, and I'm going to let Bobby tell you about the festival, basically, and everything. So. All right. Well, tell me a little more about this pageant. So you just kind of show up, wear your blue jeans, your white T-shirt. Yeah. Well, um, you can contact either me or um, his wife, uh, Betsy, and get an application for it. We um, have uh, three different additional categories. We have pretty hair, pretty smile, and most beautiful overall. But we also have seven age groups. And it's an all-natural pageant. Uh, kids under 12 don't even wear makeup. And then the older kids wear just age-appropriate. And it's from birth to 18. Right. And um, we've just had a lot of fun with this pageant. Everybody gets a trophy, whether they win, lose, or Excellent. whatever. It's all about having fun. Right? And this year, we're doing something extra. They're going to actually um, be invited to be in the parade, whether they win or lose this year fun oh that's so really everybody's a winner everybody's a winner with this so you know and we had a, a large group there last year and we hope to have even more this year so absolutely parades are always fun and first off before we get to more details about the parade tell me about the festival in general it's the chicken pie festival, festival yes uh, this is the third third year that the men's recreation club has had it that was uh, also held for about 10 years by another group it commemorates the old McAfee Hotel, which was there years ago when the railroad came through Smithville. And at that time, like 34 trains a day stopped in town. Oh, wow. And the hotel served about 200 chickens a day in chicken pie. So we, the groups that have brought this back are just commemorating our history. The, fest, uh, the chicken pie festival, it didn't cost anything to get in. Just awesome. come and park. We have lots of vendors. And uh, chicken pie is served at the men's club. It's $7 a plate. We do have other food available if you don't like chicken pie, but we hope you'll come eat chicken pie. Now, chicken, is that like chicken pot pie? No. 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 Well, tell me, what is, I just moved okay. down here, so tell chicken, me what chicken pie is. Chicken pot pie has vegetables in it. Okay. Chicken pie has chicken and broth and uh, crust. That's it. All right, so none of those healthy vegetables. No, we don't want no, them. no, no. No carrots or peas for the kids. <laughs> All right, so definitely sounds good. Is that a big dish down here? I, like I said, I just moved down. I'm still. Uh, yeah, wet. it's a pretty good dish down here. Um, there's grandmothers that uh, have recipes that are very good, and then there are other people that just invent their own <laughs> recipes. In fact, we have a chicken pie contest. Okay, so it all kind of ties in with the yeah. theme. Uh, now, we do not serve the pies to the public that they other bring in. Bring. So just the judges get to taste yes. them. Just the judges get to taste that. And then what is first prize? On we that? have three prizes, $100, $50, and $25. Wow. And it's uh, the judges taste the pies and uh, judge them on taste and appearance and the meatiness and uh, just overall goodness of the pie. So everyone can really capture that essence of the chicken That's pie. That's so correct. All right, <laughs> well, get your recipes cooking for those. And you have the beauty contest, the chicken pie contest. What else have you been have uh, going on on this Well, festival. we have lots of entertainment all day. Of course, we have vendors that are there all day. I think we had 30 vendors last yes. year. Oh, wow. And expecting more this year? Uh, we hope. Um, and uh, then we have, um, of course, the little chicken pie cafe. And it's just a fun day for everybody. It starts at like, oh, we do have a 5 and a 10.2K run that kicks the morning off oh. early. That's at 7.30 on October the 29th. And um, when that's over, then we start the parade at 10. And then as soon as that's over, we um, end up going into the other activities. They start serving the chicken pie shortly after the parade. And then the entertainment begins downtown. And it's just Sounds all like within fun. about a two block area. Oh, so good. everybody can walk and have fun. So and really all you need to do is come down, park yes. your car, and have a good time. That's right. All right, now you said different things kind of going on on different days. 
Repeat it one more time. What's going on Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Uh, just uh, on Saturday, October the 22nd is our uh, beauty contest. And then the, it, the rest of it starts early morning, October the 29th. Right, and the 29th is, is a, on a Saturday. Is a Saturday. All yeah. Right. So pretty I, much everything's going on. Yeah. And due to the hard economic times, I want to remind people, it's free parking, free admission. Just bring your family and have fun. All right. Excellent. And the entertainment and everything's free too, correct? Yes, everything is free. All right. Free, free, free. We love to hear that. Well, thank you yeah. both so much for coming out. Thank is you. there a place that people can go to get more information about this festival? Uh, I have some phone numbers. Okay. Uh, the main number to call would be Thomas Jackson. And his number is 229-846-5584. All right, Thomas Jackson, he's going to be the, the main guy to contact. All right, well, thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, because he can get you to whoever you need to talk to then. Perfect, so. so call it Mr. Jackson. He's the one to talk to. All right, Carrick, Gosa, and Bobby Ussery, thank you so much for coming in for us.